so we can chat with them for a little bit before we actually watch the film. So please welcome the members of the Grease cast and crew, Barry Pearl, who played Duty. She trains at my boxing gym, true story. And she's tough. She's as tough as she is cute. Randall Pleiser, the film's director. John Travolta, who played Danny Zuko. And Olivia Newton-John, who played Sandy Olsen. So, just jumping right back into it. Uh, John, Olivia, when you think back 40 years to Greece, what's the first... Yeah, when do you swallow the 40? What's the first thing that comes to mind? Olivia. Aww. She was my favorite thing about doing Grease. Yeah. And, and you were really instrumental, I hear, in actually getting uh, a little oh, cast, right? Kidding, there was utterly no one else. I mean, because if you were a young man in the 70s, and I'm sure many of you were, <laughs> if you remember that album cover of, of Olivia with that blue shirt on, with those big blue eyes staring right at you, every... Every boy's, every man's dream was, oh, I'd love for that girl to be my girlfriend. <laughs> so when I had the, the privilege to have input on the casting, I said, there is no other person in the universe other than Olivia and John to play Sandy. You must cast her. So I held tight, didn't I? Yep. And I got my way. <laughs> Look at that. Well, no, definitely. And is it true, um, Olivia, that they... They try to get you to do uh, an American accent, but you struggled with it a little bit, so you decided to, to make Sandy Australian? Actually, I struggled with everything. <laughs> I, wasn't, I really wasn't sure I wanted to do the movie because I'd made a movie before in England, which was a musical, and it didn't work. So I was very frightened about doing a movie. My musical career was doing okay, so Alan Carr had talked to me, and I said, oh, I don't know about this, and then... They sent John to meet me, and who could say no, right? This gorgeous guy walks up my driveway, these bright blue eyes, and he was so sweet and melted me, and he talked about it and how, and I said, but I'm 29 years old. How can I be 18? I love that. I can't believe I was just thinking that. But anyway, it's all relative, right, girls? So... Um, he uh, talked to me and said, you know, it's, it's all right, none of us are going to be 18. We're all going to be in our, in our 20s. I said, well, I'm not sure about this, but, you know, I think if we did a screen test and I could see that maybe I can pull this off, it'll work. So we did a screen test and Randall helped us through. And uh, thank goodness you did that. Yeah. And, thank you. And Randall, you know, you knew from the moment when you yeah. saw it? Or? Yeah, when we did the test, it was clear, because uh, John was John and I were sort of like making sure that Olivia felt comfortable. And, and all through, I think you treated her almost like a little sister, right? Yeah. Helping well, her through. Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I had other designs, but <laughs> sister's fine. <laughs> Sis. <laughs> John, how, how ready were you? for the fame that came with Greece on the heels of Saturday Night Fever, then right after that, Urban Cowboy. I mean, you were instantly on top of the world. How, how'd your life change at that point? Well, fortunately, I had the TV series of Welcome Back, Cutter to have a Maybe not a little more. So that, that gave me a gradient of fame, if you will. Uh, but I don't know if anyone's prepared for what Saturday Night Fever in Greece would do to uh, your mindset. But it, it, it's all good. I, I'm very happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> we 